This is an ABC color presentation. What's the depth, please? Five, four, zero fathoms. Is that all? We also like speed, but not at the expense of safety. Four, sir. Six fathoms, sir. Anything wrong? Sonar's been picking up echoes. Of what? Whales. In full migration. Veering this way. That could be what wrecked your deep-sea lab. Captain, this is Sonar. Whales approaching. Bearing 070. Range 5,000 yards and closing fast. That's close enough for me. I'm aborting the dive. Chief, stop the winch. Stop engine. No, please, you can't. Admiral, you can't. It's too risky. Bring it up, Chief. Fast. Full reverse. Hello, Apple One. Come in, Apple One. The divers are boarded. We're bringing you up. Yeah. Stop, I'm doing no. What does he say? Well, he stopped talking in English. He's saying a lot of stuff in Russian. I can't make it out. Let me see. Uh, just a minute, ma'am. It's all right, Chief. Let it talk. Alexei, Katya, Nichevo se spokoitsa. Vodolats oplosien. Captain, this is sonar. The whales are all around us and moving fast. A couple of them are starting to die. Rig for possible collision. Get that bell up in a hurry. Rescue team, lay down to the aft missile room on the double. Voyage to the bottom of the sea. Starring Richard Basehart. David Hedison.
How long will it take? How long will what take? To fix the damage. Get ready for a new dive. This is no time to talk about another dive. Don't you ever expect to accept some risk? Only when necessary. The bell has to be repaired. Then there's a problem of picking just the right man for the dive. When the bell is repaired, I'll go. It's ready now, ma'am. At least it's ready for testing. How long will that take? Guess you have to get with Daddy on that. Daddy? Who else? You take this elevator down too soon, and it's a wipeout for all hands. You dig? That young man, what dialect does he speak? Hey, ma'am. That's Riley. Uh, he's a surfer. Surf is one of the United States. Well, yes, ma'am. It's a state of being, like, way out. I see. You seem to be in need of an interpreter, Doctor. Admiral, why is there delay in testing? We're waiting for the whales to clear out of the test area. You know as well as I do that when they're migrating, they have a one-track mind. They don't go around here, they go right through. How soon? Uh, the end of this week, at the earliest. Impossible. Dr. Narkova, we're scientists. We're not guinea pigs. We don't ask a man to lay his life on the line unless every avoidable risk has been eliminated. Perhaps in your country, not in mine. You have my sympathy. <laughs> I don't want your sympathy. Only cooperation. Once before, I went over your head to my government and yours. I'm ready to do it again. Doctor, you've seen the results of one collision with the whale. If you'd been a little more patient then, your colleague would still be alive. Alexis was more than a colleague. He was my very good friend. This is a joint project. At the cost of how many more lives? What will be the cost in lives one day if we don't go back now, before it's too late? But be realistic, Doctor. A few more days and we may do it safely. A few more days? Hundreds of migrating whales will have passed through this area. I doubt very much if there'd be enough left of our laboratory to put into a teacup. We must salvage what we can at any cost. If you are too tender-hearted to risk a man, I shall go myself. Kowalski, would you volunteer to go down on this thing as it stands? Sir? Are you asking me or telling me? No, just asking. Yes, sir, I would. All right, you got yourself a pilot. Thank you very much. No, no, not him. Me. The great sperm well. Equipped by nature with a homing device that makes you sonar look like a primitive child's toy. For the first time, we will have a chance to learn how it functions and how to adapt lessons for use either in submarines or for the automatic harvesting of giant underwater crops. Doesn't that excite you at all? You know perfectly well that it does. Perhaps you resent sharing this work with my country. Oh, it may be that, um, as yet, we don't need it quite as desperately as you do. You call yourself a scientist. Why, even this submarine of yours is nothing but a horse and buggy compared to what could be achieved within a few years if 
bureaucratic dunderheads like yourself who aren't always shivering about the possible loss of a human life. We'll call it a weakness if you like, but we happen to believe that every life is important. Admiral, this is a war we are fighting. A war to keep up with the population explosion before it wipes us all off the map. Dr. Markova, I've been fighting this uh, war of yours at least as long as you have. But I also know that each time there's an accident or a casualty, it sets us back far more than if we'd waited until it was safe to proceed. Admiral, this is the exec. All systems ready to lower away. Ready? Anytime you are. Chip, how close are we to the undersea lab? Pathometer reading 930, straight down. Very well, fill the airlock. Pressure 1.5 atmospheres. Pressure 1.5 atmospheres. Aye, sir. We've been in the bathosphere, underwater. Alexis was the adventurous one. I was strictly lab and test tube. But from now on, I'll be both. But you have to realize we'll be down there at least three and a half hours. Now, once we're down, no matter what happens, there's no quick way we can get back to the surface. You have time to back out. together so tightly, it's forcing all the remaining moisture out of the joints. Of course, if the um, pressure should increase beyond a certain point... Uh... They're out of visual range now. Pick it up on sonar. Aye, uh, sir. Sweep radius one mile. Report anything large enough to make even a smudge on the screen, you understand? Yes, sir. Now, as soon as he reports a blip, you try and pick it up on visual. Oh, yes, sir. Sonar could be a whale, a big one. How close? Less than a mile. Headed which way? Straight at you, from the looks of it. Well, keep tracking it. Aye, sir, but it seems to be traveling at a fantastic speed. How fast? What's its speed? Estimated 50 knots, sir. I know this sounds unbelievable, Admiral, but it's an estimated 50 knots. I believe you. Haul us back up. No, only one more minute. I must have a full report of the damage. Another time. They won't be another time. You know they won't. Another day and all this will be destroyed. Sorry. <laughs> and closing fast. Admiral. Yes, Lee? I'm going to expel 100 gallons of shark repellent. Now, it won't scare him off, but it may blind him just long enough to miss you. You better wait till he gets close. Right. 
Depth 410. Keep it steady. Aye, aye, sir. Missile room, this is the captain. Chief Sharkey here, Captain. Load 100 gallons of sharp propellant. Number three tube. Expel on signal. Aye, aye, sir. Ready to expel, Skipper. <laughs> Suit course and overhaul that whale. All right, sir. Prepare to dive. speed now, catching up. Can we put a torpedo in them? No. If we kill a whale, they're finished, too. You don't believe they're still alive in that thing? They couldn't be. Why not? The bell's watertight, isn't it? They've got oxygen. There's still a chance, a good one. He knows we're after him. He's trying an evasive action. All right, stay with him. No matter what he tries, you keep on his tail. I'm going to the missile. All right, sir. Eight seven zero. Eight seven zero. Number two. Delayed action. Ready to load, sir. Load the warhead with five hundred cc's of anodyne. We got it right here, Skipper. Now wait a minute. Make it three quarters strength. I don't want to paralyze the whale completely. He'd sink like a rock, and we'd never see him again. Aye, aye, sir. Three quarters strength it is. Ready. Load the warhead, Skipper. But how do we get the admiral out of there? We go in after him. How else? Well, you see, Kowalski. Man. That'll make writing a hot tube seem like kid stuff. Range 75 yards and closing fast. At 50 yards, give orders to fire. Right. Range 65 yards. 55 yards. Range 50 yards. 48. 45. Now! Fire two. Thank <laughs> you. 
Where are we now? Well, we, we seem to be in a... In a, in a sort of... Uh, state of uh, t temporary suspension. Where's my camera? Look at this. Blunderer. Yeah, I, I seem to be a little bit out of practice. I want to get back to the sub at once. I will make a new dive this afternoon. This time with an experienced pilot. I, uh, I see what you mean. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, frankly, I can't think of anything else to do at the moment. We have just enough air left for 92 minutes. That should last us easily till we get back. We start right now. Uh, Dr. Mankova, do you, do you have the uh, slightest idea of where we are? Possible. There is no will now in existence big enough to swallow this. The Arceus City. Long ago extinct. Oh, to revive a tired old joke, you know it and I know it, but uh, perhaps he doesn't. After all, our ancestors weren't skeptical about the story of Jonah. They knew that there were fish big enough to swallow a man. Ancient history. Myths. Sorry. I didn't mean to taunt you with a book you've never read. The Bible? I've read it. I am not ignorant. Joan, of course, was a very poor sailor. Though perhaps he would have made a good admiral. <laughs> <laughs> How do we get out? We can't sit here and wait. I looked a few moments ago, the, the whale suddenly quieted down. And it may just have gone to sleep, but on, on the other hand, someone might have put him to sleep. Even if they have put him out for a moment, how will you men get us out of here before the air gauge hits zero? Now, this is the cross-section of the whale's anatomy. Do we go right into him, sir? Pass those teeth? And that's right, right in here. Man, that's wild. Sir, are just the three of us enough? Oh, I think so, Kowalski. You, Riley, and myself. <clears throat> And hard left rudder. Man, dig that fish! Brace yourselves! Systems and emergency power. Steady as you go. And we better keep dodging? No, keep on his tail. I'm trying to beat him. It's the only way to make sure he won't sink. Missile room, this is the captain. Tube number four. Stand by the fire. full 360 degree turn.
cable in position? Yes, sir. A titanium cable with a five-inch hook. You'll find it right next to the airlock outside. It's, uh, it's light, but, uh, but good and strong, sir. Good. All systems normal. Have a man stand by the winch with a fire hose. Just in case the friction on the cable heats it up too fast. We'll handle everything on the sensor. You ready? Aye, sir. Let's go, Skipper. What's the pressure in the airlock? 1.47. Very well. We have perfect trim. You'll be able to swim right into the jaws. Well, let's hope they stay open. I'd hate to try and cut our way through a 15-foot wall of bone and blubber. Sir, excuse me, but couldn't we keep his jaws propped open with a couple of those five-inch steel girders we got stored for collision? No, he'd snap one of those like a toothpick. Now, once we're inside, if you see him tighten his jaws, fire another charge of anesthetic. Half strength? Half strength. Just behind the skull. You got it? Right. All right, let's get to work. Sir? Just don't you worry, sir. And you two. Just, uh, just bring back these suits in one piece. Understand? All right, Chief. Station identification. contact with the whale now. It's getting fainter. The skipper said they just entered the whale's jaws. Don't lose contact. I'll do my best.
missile room, tube four. 500 cc's anodyne, half charge, prepare to fire. Ready on four. Fire four. <laughs> Just a whack on the head, I'll survive. Air. No air. There's no shortage of oxygen yet. I can't breathe. The gauge is wrong. It's a constriction of the windpipe. The plane's scared. Here. Take a couple of swallows of this. Now. For what? How to die? Uh, two possibilities. We could use the rocket launcher to try to blast our way out of here. We can? Then what are we waiting for? For the last possible moment. Because the odds would be about 10 to 1 against us. 10 to 1. Percentages. Statistics. Even with your life hanging by a thread. <laughs> Admiral, you are the perfect bureaucrat. Captain Marcola, do you, you have any idea of how deep we are? Well, I don't. Even if we blasted the bell out of here with the grenade launcher, we'd still have to fight our way out. And we'd have to try to swim to the surface. If we were too deep, we'd be crushed. What's our other choice? Well, we could discharge the petroleum on the ballast tanks. Perhaps that might irritate the whale's stomach enough so that he'd try to disgorge us the way, uh, the way the great fish did to Jonah after three days. I don't want to pin my life on the accuracy of a fairy tale. Well, actually, uh, uh, Jonah wasn't the only man to ever make it back from the belly of a whale. More fairy tales. No, 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 this is a pretty well-documented case about uh, an English sailor named James Bartley. And he spent 24 hours in the stomach of a sperm whale back in, uh, in 1891. And he got out alive, uh, bleached white as a bone, and quite mad. Charming. Well, which is it to be? Neither one. For the moment, I prefer to wait. For what? For Captain Crane? To come and send this squad of volunteer right into the jaws of a whale? Well, what would you suggest that we do? Bail out? Launch the explosive. Have done with it. But I'm afraid that if we launch the explosives, we might kill anyone attempting to rescue us. You told me you people believe every life is precious. Then why should they risk a single life for hours? Yes, that's just the point. It's because every life is important that they'll risk anything to try to save us. Have you re-established radio contact with the captain? We were reading each other five by five till the whale closed his jaws. I guess those radio signals got smothered in all the tons of blubber. Keep trying. Yes, sir. No! Put the knife away! Don't be 
bleed to death. Another pain reaction like the last one, and we'll all be dead. Wait a minute. I'll use a short wave unit. Ultrasonic waves. It'll relax the muscular constriction. Two minutes left. So it looks in. And still no sign. What sort of a sign were you expecting? Too bad your book of Jonah wasn't more specific about the procedure you employed. Oh, but it is. It's, uh, it's quite specific. Really? He simply and uh, well, quite sensibly, I suppose, addressed himself to the author of his temporary misfortune. Uh, but I must cast me into the depth, into the heart of the seas. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The, um, the earth with her bars closed upon me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from the pit. Of course, all we have is his side of the story. Oh, he was called Jonah ben Amittai, the son of the truthful one. He must have been pretty good at his job. Otherwise, uh, the Lord wouldn't have sent him to try to save the corrupt city of Nineveh. Just as you went down to the heart of the seas to try to save your laboratory. And I will save it. Now you've done it. We got 16 minutes of air left. 16 minutes to get this thing fixed. Thirteen more minutes of oxygen left. If he's still alive. Any contact with the captain? No, sir. And keep trying. Another ten or twelve minutes, and they might as well turn back. If they can. <laughs> Yeah. 
The pain's apt to make him do some violent things. Inside and out. Can't you do it any quicker? Six minutes left to go. Wouldn't it take us almost that long to reach the surface? Yeah. If we're blown free, if we can manage to scramble out of the bell, and if we're not too deep to fight our way back to the surface. And if we are too deep? You better follow the example of Jonah. What's that? Pray. Hard. Will it work now? Keep away. Do you want to wait until we're out of oxygen? Frankly, I'm still willing to gamble to someone out there trying to get to us. Someone who'd be killed if we fire this too soon. Got it, Skipper! Good! Explosion should blow us free from the whale the way an ejector seat does in a jet airplane. Just hope it doesn't blow out these portholes, too. I suppose if there had been a rescue party. Well, it's too late for that now. Admiral. Yeah? The man who died in this bell, Alexis. Next month we were to be married. Before he went down, he said to me, almost his last words, people like us, like you, we should be friends. Now take, uh, take a deep, deep breath. I count to three, hold it as long as you possibly can. One, two,
fast. Don't lock the drum until he's at 2,000 feet of cable. Try to reel him in and hope he doesn't break the cable. Start reeling in a cable at three feet per second. Call me if you feel him fighting. Aye, aye, sir. Reel in three feet per second. pretty hard. Keep pulling him in. Yes, sir. sorts of radio calls from the press services. They want to know all about what it was like down there. That's right, ma'am, particularly your impressions. My impressions were recorded long ago. Recorded? I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars closed upon me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from the pit.